I'll show you how to edit videos using Blender in just 10 minutes. Literally. If you haven't already, go ahead and download Blender from Blender.org and install like any other software. Once you've downloaded, open up Blender and you'll see something that looks like this. These are all related to 3D animation stuff. We only want video editing. So let's open the video editing layout by clicking this plus button, going to video editing, and then selecting video editing. So this screen looks like any other video editor that you may be familiar with. You have a file browser where you can import your media like videos, images, and audio clips. And you can simply drag and drop your media into the timeline. So I can go ahead and just drag and drop this like this. You can also drag and drop your clips directly from your file browser. The timeline is the area for playing back your video and doing all that editing magic. And this previewer is for seeing what your final edit will look like. The properties is for choosing where to export your video and the settings related to it. So let's look at the timeline in a bit more closer detail. You can play back your video by pressing this play button and again to pause. And you can also play backwards if you ever think that would be useful. You can also go directly to a frame by typing here. So I might put something like 132. Or you can just scrub in this timeline by clicking and dragging this. The timeline has unlimited tracks or channels as they call it. Now this has advantages over other video editors. As I know other video editors may have limits to the number of tracks. So now you can overlay tons of videos, images and audio tracks in parallel. To control how long you want your final video to be, just change the frame end number over here. Blender goes by frames rather than time. So if you want to end the video on a specific time, just scrub the timeline to wherever you want to stop your video. So let's say over here. Note down this number over here, 343. And then just put that as the end frame. So now your video will stop rendering at the 14th second. Okay, so that's all the basic stuff. Time to learn how to actually edit. To move clips, just click and then uh, drag them around wherever you want in your timeline. Or you can press the G key on your keyboard and then just um, move it around wherever you like as well. To trim a clip, click on one of the ends of the clips. So let's say this one, until it highlights white. So now if you drag, it will trim the beginning of the clip. Same goes to the other side as well. Just click until it highlights white and then drag to move it. Again, you can press the G key on your keyboard to trim as well. It will only trim if this end is highlighted. Otherwise, it will just move the entire clip. To split a clip, uh, select the clip first and then scrub the timeline to wherever you want to make the split. And then you can go to Strip, Split. The easiest shortcut though is to use the shortcut key K on your keyboard. And then you can just split and move um, your clips wherever you like. So let's do a basic transition now from one clip to the other. So I'm just going to grab this little portion of the clip over here. So let's select it and let's split it by hitting K. And let's just drag this next to this clip over here. And I want to add a smooth little transition between this clip and this clip. So this is a bit unusual compared to another video editor. Since with other video editors, you can just drag and drop transitions, but with Blender, it's a bit different. You have to take the first clip and then uh, move it in a separate channel from the second clip. So in this case, I just put it above. And then we want a transition to happen in from he here to here. Just select the first clip by clicking on it and then shift and left click the second clip. Then we go to add, transition, cross. And you'll have a new little strip over here, which is called the effect strip. And this is what we use to transition from the first clip to the second one. As you can see that there's a nice little transition going there, like a, like a fade transition. And unfortunately, Blender is quite limited when it comes to transitions. You can only do fade or, let's just remove this, click and select this one, add, transition, wipe, and wipe. In terms of effects, you can just select a clip by clicking on it, add, effect strip, and you can make it, for example, uh, speed up. So if I go to speed control, and then if I make this uh, clip much shorter and then play it back, it goes much faster. Or if I drag out this clip to be much longer than the original, 
clicking on the end and then dragging out. You can see that it's sort of in slow-mo. Other effects you can do is um, you can do other things like glow. Um, and also the one that I tend to use a lot is transform. So once you have this over here, you can go over to the properties over here and move your clips. So you can see that you have the um, this video playing over here and the video directly underneath that one, this one, playing in the background. So pretty useful if you have multiple video clips that you want to show on the same frame. Do note that you can also change the opacity. So if I go over here and change the opacity, nothing happens. That's because we have a transform uh, uh, effect applied on top of it. So we have to select the top one instead and change this opacity. Now, as you can see, we have this sort of effect like she's thinking about her school day. Maybe I'll just turn down the scale. And there you go. She's thinking about her school day. Okay, so time to modify the properties of the clip itself. So to modify properties of the clip, click to select it. And here you can see all these different options that you have at your disposal. Here you can also do a transform, which is the same as using the effect. This is for positioning, this is for scaling, um, and this is for rotating, and so on. These small dots over here are used for animation, which, which is a bit more of an advanced topic, but just to go through it really quickly, if you set a keyframe over here, it will, it will add a keyframe at this point in time in the video. And if I go back a bit like this, I can maybe turn down the scale like this to probably zero and add another keyframe by clicking on it. So if I play this back, we have this sort of effect like it's scaling out. This part is for cropping a video if you don't like to, if you just want to cut parts of a video out. And yeah, these are the other properties. Maybe another one is color. You can add more saturation to your videos. You can, uh, yeah, make it more overly bright. And again, these are animatable as well. If you want to go even more advanced, you can look at these modifiers tools over here. So if I click this modifiers, you can add all these modifiers to your clips. Now these are advanced stuff that like Hollywood professionals tend to use. Like for example, color balance. Like um, this is like color grading in Hollywood movies where some movies always tend to have this color theme throughout the entire film. Like some movies have this sort of orangey yellow look or other movies have this greeny kind of look. Like for example, The Matrix has this sort of greeny look. That kind of stuff is usually done with color balancing and it's quite a powerful tool to try to change the mood of your film. I would suggest to watch more YouTube videos to learn how to do this kind of advanced stuff. Time to export your cinematic masterpiece. You can export your video out to a video clip. So just click this option over here under output and give your video clip a name like something like my video and then hit accept. For file format, uh, change this to any format that you prefer. I generally tend to go with MP4, so I always choose this one for MP4. Also under encoding, just expand that, change this one to MPEG4. And if your video has audio in it, uh, change the audio to MP3. Again, if you know what kind of formats you want for your own video, uh, change these to uh, whatever you see fit. For my own videos and short films, I use um, yeah, this setting, MPEG-4 and MP3 as the audio. Um, also you can change the resolution of your video. On default it's 1920 by 1080 which is the default high definition resolution. Um, and 4K is like double that I think. Before we um, finalize and render out our video, let's just add in uh, text at the beginning just to introduce our video. So we go to add text. Here we have a generic text and I don't know where it's disappeared. Oh, there it is. We just move this one a bit higher. And then here we can change the, again the properties of the text, like um, what we want to show, like my video. And then you can ch uh, change your font over here, change the colors um, and uh, font size, things like that, straightforward stuff. Once you're happy with that, we can export our final video. So just go to render and then render animation. And this will render out your video clip to the folder that you specified over here. So that, in a nutshell, is how to edit videos in Blender. Thanks for watching.